This should be quite a comforting passage to believers. Um, this one's actually in the Old Testament, in Lamentations, chapter 3. The Bible reads, It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in Him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for Him, to the soul that seek Him. And, you know... Yeah, it is the, by the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, you know, because um, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but by his mercy, he saved us, right? And for by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And... Um, you know, we were at the mercy of God. We were sinners condemned to hell, but God sent His Son. He didn't want us to go to hell, so He sent us Jesus. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And Jesus was compassionate. The most compassionate thing in the history of the world was Jesus Christ on the cross. You know, knowing that he didn't have to die for us, but he chose to. Anyways, God chose to, to send his son. And, uh, you know, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. You know what? Even after you're a believer, if if you do the if you do the wrong thing, you know, after you're saved, or if you mess up, remember that you know God's mercy and His compassion are new every morning, because God is faithful, and you know. If you, if you live until tomorrow, remember that tomorrow's another day. And tomorrow's another day that um, we have the opportunity to walk in the Spirit. And uh, we, we do that by the, the grace of God and the help of, of the Lord. Um, but also remember, you know, if you believe the gospel, if you put your faith in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, you're not condemned. Um, so know that, you know, there's a proverbial light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, the Lord should, should be our portion. We should hope in the Lord. And of course the Lord is good to them that wait for Him, to the soul that seeketh Him. He, he was good when He saved us, and He's good when He keeps us saved. And He's good even when we're not. And it's by His mercies that we're not consumed. And I thank God for, for His mercy, His grace, His compassion, His long-suffering towards me. And even towards my enemies because He died for them too. And I pray that they believe. Take care.